Imagine making a game in a fantasy console like Pico 8, but you could take any of these palettes and easily build your retro game without having to make any sacrifices when it comes to your colors. Well, we think that's a pretty good idea. Today, I'm sharing an update that we're doing to Pixel Falls, the game engine that I'm helping develop, because we've been doing a lot of work on the color palettes. Now check this out. If you're familiar with something like Pico 8, where you have these 16 colors, it can feel a little limiting, but check this out. This is really exciting. In our game settings here, if we go over to color depth, look at this. We can choose 16 colors like normal. We could also go down to four colors. If we want to make like a Game Boy style game with a Game Boy palette, they also have Game Girl because we're not sexist, but we also have bigger color depths like 32 colors. Ooh. So here's the colors that you would get with the extended palette in Pico 8. But we also have a couple of other color palettes here that you can choose from. And not only that, but we have 64 color palettes and 128 colors. So if you love making games in a Pico 8 style engine, but you just wish you had more colors, well, guess what? Now you can use a heck ton of colors, but it doesn't stop there. Let's go back to our 16 color palette here for a second. You'll notice by this color palette, we also have a plus. Now check this out. If I hit this plus, I can import a palette and all I need is an image that's 16 pixels wide and one pixel high. This is really huge because if you're familiar with a site like low spec that gives you all these different kinds of palettes, you can go over here and download your palette. I'll just download this one X version PNG image, save link as this is called Island joy 16. Thanks Carrie Lake. Now that I have that on my system, I can go over to color palette, hit plus, browse and here we'll select our island joy 16 and hit open and look at that there are the colors right there i'll hit import palette and now this is the palette for my game isn't that awesome so if you want to keep things a little bit limited to a palette you can do that really easily and import a low spec palette into pixel falls and then of course if you want to use just every color ever just switch over to 128 and we got you now i'm going to switch back to a different color palette. I'll choose Pixel Falls 16. And let's go over to our sprite editor because I want to show you one other thing. Here in our sprite editor, of course, we can take any of these colors and draw pixel art. And we're working on the drawing tools here and making them better all the time. But we have a brand new button up here to import sprite sheet. Now this is freaking magic. Check this out. Let's say I find some assets on a site like itch.io that I really like and I want to use for my game like these little handsome fellows. Well, I can download a sprite sheet and import that into Pixel Falls. By the way, this art that we're gonna use for this demo is from the Tiny Adventure Pack by Vryle and the GB Adventure characters by Bitbop. So let's go up and hit import sprite sheet. And this is gonna bring us into our sprite importer. I can go up here and say, choose file. And here's a sprite sheet with an animation called chess.png. I'll hit open and look at this. This brings up the sprite sheet into tiles and there's this handy dandy color remapping feature here. And this will let us remap the colors from the sprite into the palette that we're using for our game. And it will show me on the left, the starting color and then what it's remapping it to. So I actually wanna remap this to maybe like a dark gray maybe, or like a blue, ooh yeah, maybe this purple, maybe a dark red, ooh yeah, I like that dark red. And it does a pretty good job of automatically mapping these. But if I want to change them, I can do that pretty easily just by selecting the color that I want this to map to. That's oh, freaking magic, man. So yeah, I like that dark red. Maybe we even want to change the color of this chest. Sure, that looks cool. And I can select all of these tiles that I want to import because I'm just going to import all of these and hit add group. That'll add a group of tiles down here and I'll hit import group. Then that's going to throw this into my sprite sheet with those remapped colors. Then I can use that in my game and I have this already set up to animate. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's so cool. Let's import something else, shall we? If we go up to import sprite sheet, choose a different file. This time let's choose a skeleton guy. We'll just grab a walk animation here. Let's do the skeleton walk down and hit open. Here's our skeleton walking animation and we can remap our colors, do whatever we want here. Sure, we'll do purple, maybe a blue, maybe a light gray. Maybe we'll make his eyes green. Yeah, that's cool. And let's say maybe we just want to grab a couple of these. I can select this group and hit add group and then maybe select this one and add group. And now we have two different groups, two different sections of this sprite sheet. I'll import that and that will throw those into my sprite editor. Let's do it again because I'm just, I love this. Here's our Game Boy Adventure characters. I'll just grab this and hit open. Here's our little guys. We can remap the colors however we feel like. 
I think that looks pretty good. And let's say we're going to flip this sprite so we don't need the facing left sprites and the facing right sprites. So I'll just grab the facing left sprites and add a group, the up sprites, add a group, and the down sprites, and add a group. So now we have three different groups here, import groups, and now we have our characters in here mapped to our palette. Isn't that amazing? It's so sick. So yeah, this update really gives you a lot of freedom. And because this just imports PNGs, you can make art in a sprite, or even you can roll your own palette and do all the custom colors, anything that you want, right? So here's this kind of fall palette that I really like. And I'll use this bright green as an alpha because I like green screen stuff. And I can save this out as a PNG and open this color palette here in Pixel Falls, fall palette.png, open that up. And there are all my colors. Oh my goodness. And so I can make my retro game with my own palette. Isn't that cool? This is a huge update and I wanted to share it with you. It's very exciting. We've gotten a lot of feature requests and a lot of questions and we're listening and working on this really hard. I'm excited to share more with you. But for now, if you're excited about this, I want you to click the link in the description and sign up for updates, all right? Because if you wanna be one of the first people to get your hands on this game engine, that is how you do it, all right? So click that link down below, make sure you're signed up, and I'll be back soon with some more amazing, awesome things that we're building into this game engine. Okay? Love you. Bye.